but you think I've travelled north into Scotland, but I haven't. This is Renneth Heath, an area of lowland heathland in Nottinghamshire, owned and managed by the Nottinghamshire Wildlife Trust. It's an absolute picture. I'm here today to look for two species, but one primarily, and that's the hieroglyphic ladybird. It should be over there. That's provided it's still here. The weapon of choice today is the old beating tray, which might not be the wisest of decisions I've ever made to use this, especially on a very breezy day like this. But hopefully it may prove to be worthwhile because the beating tray is by far the best method. It's the method we use actually did us and I to find it all those years ago. It's also the method that I've used to look for it since to no effect, but I think it gives us a best chance. I will be beating these trees, these young silver birch, and there's a couple of mature birches as well. Because hieroglyphic ladybird can get onto trees, but this is the ideal habitat. Hieroglyphic ladybirds, they like this sort of old, straggly heather. Let's hope they still like it enough to be here. difficult terrain to work in and the old stick comes in very handy. One particular pine, one small scrub pine, played host to four species of ladybird, the ubiquitous seven spot Coccinella septum punctata, I love saying that. And I've put a photo in of the following three that I've got in this little tube here. And the comments of the three species that's in here is pine ladybird and don't go by the name because pine ladybirds is equally likely to turn up on your street tree if your street tree is planted on uh, limes. Very common on limes, it can be there in numbers, but also often found on ivy. Over winters tucked away in ivy, but occasionally on the very tips of the young growth of pines, as do a lot of ladybird species. The two species that's in here or heather ladybird. Now, heather ladybird is expected really in habitat like this, but it's not commonly seen. I don't see many of them. Even while beating, the best way to see heather ladybird really is in early spring, the first warm days of spring, and quite often you can find them basking in the sunshine on silver birch trunks or whatever trunks are available. Now in here are also two small ladybirds it's a species that turned up a couple of years ago. I found it at another area of Heathland in Mansfield on Oak Tree Heath. And it was the first time it had been recorded in Nottinghamshire for about a century or more. And it's Skimnus nigrinus. And I found two. It seems to have undergone something of a transformation in its fortunes. And the best way of finding it, and it seems to be more widespread now than original indications showed, and the best way to find it is to look at the very tips, again, of pines. And they often sit tucked in the buds there. But an easy way to find them is to use a beating tray. But they can be found by visual searching. So, a couple of nice species there, but no hieroglyphic ladybird. I'd love to know just where it is. Now this is Heather Ladybird, a pure black round ladybird with a series of about three small dots across the elytra, across each elytra. Sometimes they can be hard to discern depending on the lighting. But it's only small, three and a half to four millimetres in length, but 
It's a nice species to find here in Nottinghamshire. And it's only found on Heathland. So I'm pleased with that. It's always nice to see this. I have a feeling that today's adventure might see me being beaten on two accounts. One, the hieroglyphic ladybird not being found. And two, the great British weather showers are forecast and the cloud is starting to become stratus-like and more formless and that always brings rain. Pleasantly warm though. There's not lots of ladybirds around. Seven spot ladybirds, there's quite a number of those on that I've beaten, but not in big numbers. But I can't understand why the hieroglyphic ladybird is proving so hard. But I think it's declined in Nottinghamshire anyway. There are only a handful of sites, and the records from those sites. If I remember rightly, date back to the 1990s. This is the only site, I think, post 2000, that hieroglyphic ladybirds been found, or at least been found and reported. I'm sure that it's here. I'm positive that it's still here, and I have no reason really to expect it not to be, but this has to be my first point of call in the search, the continuing search to relocate it. It may well turn up out of the blue somewhere, but it's got to be here. I'm having a minute. I'm pondering as well while I have a minute. Doing two things at the same time is quite frankly dangerous at my age. But I take pride in the fact that I've thought of something while I've been sat here. But maybe I'm looking in the wrong place now for hieroglyphic ladybird, although that area behind me, the area that I've been looking in, is, according to the book's ideal habitat, maybe I'm just as likely to fire one sat on here, in an area of shorter grass. This area does get grazed by Hebridean sheep. Could the hieroglyphic ladybird still be here at Rennes Heath on this, or maybe on the trunks of the trees which border this beautiful area of grassy heathland. Is the hieroglyphic ladybird here at all? That's the big question, and if it's not here, 
then chances are it's not in Nottinghamshire anymore. Maybe I ought to look at those other old sites from the 1990s where the beetle was found. Maybe it's time to review my mythologies for looking for the hieroglyphic ladybird. Maybe I need to try somewhere different.